So hi and hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change uh, particularly or uh, specifically chart properties of uh, any any kind of a chart that is, that is uh, open for you uh, to place trades or uh, yeah whichever. So what I mean is uh, this, uh, what I mean is uh, this, uh, I can take this change uh, chart property and change the properties of that particular chart directly in this case. So have a look. <clears throat> so if I click on OK, you can see the chart properties in this case now are updated automatically in this uh, instance over here. So I'm going to explain to you everything and uh, I mean everything that you need to particularly uh, to, to particularly change the chart properties in this case, any any chart properties in this case so you can use this kind of uh, knowledge or uh, maybe you can have it as a script where you just like want to have a default chart you don't want to like uh, always go over here then clicking on the properties and then having to change then having to change all the properties of, of uh, maybe maybe you want uh, you want the background in this case to not be in black you want it to be in let's say yellow in this uh, in that format in this case yeah you don't want to like uh, have this kind of a chart you want to like just uh, uh, you, you want to like a uh, drag drop and then uh, everything is changed for you automatically in this uh, case so yeah <laughs> let us now have uh, a look at what uh, is expected for us in this case so complete a complete uh, tutorial it will be in this uh, case so let us hop into the real business. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, to go on this uh, to activate the meta editor and you can easily do that one by by technically clicking on this little ID icon over here which opens the meta editor for you in this uh, case. So what you need to do in this uh, case is create a new expert advisor. So I'll go trading then new expert advisor from template then click on next providing the file name so maybe you can say it is a change uh, change uh, chart properties change chart properties ea uh, best in this case best or a uh, best expert advisor or whichever the lesson whichever the the name that you want to give it and this again it can be for any indicator for any script for, for script uh, it is a point where you just like want to take drag it change the chart properties and then you are gone in this case you next the script is de initialized then yeah boom you changed your chart property so however i would do this one for the expert advisor so click on next next and then finally finish so the first thing actually you just were like i want to do this one on the on the on the on in its section in this case respectively so what you want to do over here you can either have it in a in a void function in this uh, case but it is a uh, changing chart properties it is like a most effective on the on in its section i uh, don't think you ever need the or d in its section or uh, the on tick function in this uh, case the section for on tick in this uh, case however maybe to make life easier for you in this uh, case i can have it i can have it I can we can just like go ahead me and you of course and i uh, have it in a in a void uh, function over here so maybe you can call it a change change uh, maybe chart uh, properties or a uh, uh, maybe display this display display or whichever the name that you want to give to your function then from here you can just like uh, provide in the parentheses then provide in these uh, curry brackets or the the braces in this case which provides a uh, home or house for your function uh, code snippet in this uh, case or a body in this uh, instance so the first thing that you want to set in this uh, case is a uh, actually you just need to like to like we can call this function so it is to call the function the function on the on in its section just go over here then change chart display then boom your function is called so what you need to do over here is a uh, is a uh, update uh, everything that we need in our function in this case so what you need to do over here is uh, use the chart 
chart set uh, uh, integer of course or whichever that you want to change in this case the i want to show you the the most basic things in this case then we can go on advancing and advancing until everything is not clear for a for a beginner or a newbie in this case so the you need to provide in the chart id zero in this case then i mean this is what i mean you need to provide in the long chart id so zero for the current chart or you uh, technically you can use the chart uh, id function in this uh, case it doesn't again really matter so i'll just go with zero for the current chart then you need to provide in the chart property that you want to change in this case is a chart uh, it is chart uh, maybe the, the most basic one is bring to top in this uh, case then providing do you want to bring it to top in this case then set it to true in this uh, particular instance what this does what this uh, does in this uh, case if i compile this one what the, this does is that uh, maybe we can we can we can let, let us source for our file it was change 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 chat properties ea best i hope it is that one then yeah let us now have it so what this does is uh, if i were to double click on here the chart is automatically brought to top you can see we have uh, some other several charts in this uh, case however the chart is now brought to top however it doesn't really matter the position of that particular chart it will always be uh, brought to to top in this uh, case so maybe for like uh, this one as well you can you can okay i just went back so the chart what i mean is that it will be brought to the to the to the top in this uh, case so you can see maybe i can extend or extrude this one make i'm trying to make the chart mess here so that you can understand what what i mean by this one I'm trying to make the chart more messier so if i go back if i go back over here recompile this one which means we reinitialize it you can see that uh, where was it what was the name and now i can't even find it okay we need to it yeah here it comes it is brought to the top in this uh, case however to, to 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 take care of the what do i call it to take care of that delay we need to redraw the chart so chart redraw in this case then yeah something like this so which means now that if i compile that chart is now automatically brought to the top of the of the other charts in this case whenever you initialize your expert advisor the chart is brought to the top of the other of the other of the other charts in this case you can see you can check this one if i go back over here then i just comment this one out then compile it you can see that the chart is not brought to the top this audio sd chart is still at the top if i go again and uh, recompile this one you can see the audio sd the uh, this audio sd uh, is a is a this rc or a uh, audio sd chart is still at the top however if i just like uh, uncomment this one which means it is not active then compile this one you can see whenever i recompile or uh, reinitialize that chart is brought to the top in this uh, case so that is now the first thing that you want to know in this uh, case so the the other property that you may want to change in this uh, case of course i could just like co copy this one and then paste it over there the next uh, property that uh, you want to, uh, to 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 do in this uh, case is change the mode of the chart in this uh, case so chart chart uh, mode mode mo mode technically it is the let me go back it is mode technically it is the the type of the chart that you want to to have do you want to have a bar chart do you want to have a candlestick chart or do you want to have a, a line chart in this uh, case so right now my by default we have a my broker just allows uh, these uh, these uh, candlestick chart in this uh, case so what if you do not want that uh, candlestick chart you want to 
to to have any other kind of a chart so actually you can just like uh, over over the wording then click f1 on your keyboard and then the chart the chart properties will be displayed over here under the mql5 reference so you can see you we have this chart mode in this uh, uh, instance so you can a uh, uh, chart mode is used to to set the chart type in this uh, case as you can see you can either have cardo sticks bars or uh, a line chart in this uh, case then you can use uh, among the enum enumeration uh, chart modes in this uh, case and then you can check over here the among the enum chart modes you can either have these uh, these uh, chart bars chart cardo cardos or a uh, chart line in this uh, case so we will go with the with the uh, which one let's say we need to have chart chat uh, chat uh, chat line in this uh, case so if i compile this one you can see that the chart will be automatically changed to a line chart in this uh, case so how cool is that one so if we go back again maybe you can have maybe you want to have a bus chart in this case so if you recompile you can see we have a bus chart in this uh, case however for us we just want a cardiostic chart so cardos in this case so if i compile we then write again of the the correct chart type as we want it in this uh, case then the next thing that you may want to change in this uh, case is the chart is the chart uh, let me copy this one it is the other thing that you may want to have now is the chart uh, uh, shift in this uh, case so chart shift in this case so shift basically even before we go there as you can see over here uh, on my definition over here we have this uh, shift in this case we have this okay let me do this on uh, shift set it to force <laughs> so right now the shift is the distance that you move it from away from the far end uh, price scale in this uh, case so yeah that is not the shift so if it is set to force if you set this uh, shift to force to force in this uh, case then yeah you do not have any shift however if if we like set it to true set it to true then you can compile it and you can see the chart is uh, automatically shifted for you in this uh, case as uh, you can see over here particularly so that is now uh, what uh, you need to do in this uh, case so yeah so the next thing that uh, you want to do in this uh, case the next thing that you want to do in this uh, case is a change change so let's say let's say what what particularly can you else want to change in here you want to change these uh, the shift size in this uh, case so the shift size as you can see it is usually 50 percent by now i don't know what is the shift size over here but uh, you can see the shift size you cannot shift more than half the the current chart in this uh, case so which means it is 50 50 uh, percent in this uh, case so you can set the shift size this way this is how you can set the shift size so shift okay so the shift size is uh, should be a double should be a double then you should be able to access the shift size parameter in this case then over here maybe we need to set the the size in this uh, case so maybe over here i can have a double uh, data type variable maybe say a chart uh, maybe shift uh, size or a percentage in this uh, case is equals to then we need to choose between between uh, zero uh, i think it is 10 to 50 percent in this case the minimum is 10 the maximum is uh, 50 let let us have a look so we can just like press f1 on our keyboard then it should be displayed then the shift size the shift size it is a double so we should be able to get it from here so yeah you can see it is a uh, in basis of 10 from 10 to 50 percent in this case so 10 to 50 percent which means we should be able maybe let's say we need to have let's say 10 10 in this case so we need to provide the chart 
shift size over there. So if I compile this one, you can see that uh, the, the shift is now uh, shifted to 10% over here. I mean, 20% in that case. Then if I were to just like uh, de-initialize this one and then go back again, like uh, maybe you can have this one as maybe even the, let's say the maximum 50. So right now you can see the chart is shifted to 50%, which is now over here in this case. So particularly can maybe de-initialize that one and then change it again. So right now you can see we de-initialize it or we shift the chart up to 50% in this case. So again, you can maybe go ahead and have this one as maybe 10 or 11 in this instance. Then you can compile it and then it should be working uh, pretty much fine so you can see the chart is now shifted the shift is now at these uh, these uh, 11 uh, percent in this uh, case so yeah right now you can see it is working uh, super uh, super uh, fine so that is now uh, how you can shift the chart in this uh, case then the other parameter that you want to yeah that you can want to change is now this uh, this kind of uh, parameter in this case which is now the chart uh, chart uh, scale the scale in this uh, case so the scale in this case it is again an uh, integer data type of variable uh, or a function which uh, basically uh, we have a range of I think 0 to 5 is it 5 or 6 so to be sure let me go to the let me go to the mql5 reference then we can have a look at the scale so the scale is, is uh, from 0 to 5 in this uh, case so technically is uh, this uh, scale if I were to go over yeah is the maximum uh, is this this is what we mean the 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 expansion of that uh, of that uh, thing in the chart so we have we have like uh, how many steps actually so we have like a uh, one two three four five and that is not the maximum so so one two three four five and that is not the minimum so we have uh, five steps in this uh, case so maybe we want to shift it from uh, from uh, let's say zero in this case so compile this one and uh, have a look so that is no zero is not the minimum as uh, you can see then maybe you want to shift it to maybe to maybe up to up to maybe five which is not the the, the maximum scale in this uh, case so right now you can see it is done automatically in this uh, case so maybe you can choose the fitting one maybe let's say four or uh, maybe even one in this case so one you can have a look at it will be uh, it will be looking in that uh, mode then again two you can compile and then you can see the mode that it will be looking in this uh, case so maybe the, the most uh, logical one is four so maybe you can have four and then you can see the the four is not uh, enough for analysis and uh, visualization in this uh, case and then maybe i can shift this one let me have it as a, a big one let me shift it to maybe 47 something i mean maybe let's say that seven in this case so compile and then it is or it should be shifted in this uh, case up to that x uh, point so right now from here the other parameter that uh, we can change the other parameter is uh, that we can change is the is the display of this uh, ohlc as you can see this uh, these prices over here technically by default they are shown the open high low and close prices are shown by default so suppose you want your chart to come in clean so oh so it should be show oh lc open eye lowered close prices in this uh, case so by default if you set it to true maybe it it will be shown in this uh, case however if you set it to false to false the, it will not be shown in this case so it is gone that uh, that uh, ohlc is now gone in this uh, case however you may want to have it in there so set it to uh, default true in this uh, case and then the next thing that you may want to change in this uh, case is now uh, is now uh, the 
the bid, the bid and the ask line. So maybe you can migrate to one minute time frame. So maybe you want to show in the bid. This is not the bid line. I mean, this is not the ask line and this is not the bid line. So maybe you want to show the bid line and the ask line or uh, you want to add to add maybe one of them or a uh, or uh, maybe all of them in this case, okay, so I can just copy and paste the argumentation over here. Then change this one to, let's say, you want to show the ask line. Uh, show ask line. In this case, maybe you can set this one to false. And then again, maybe do you want to show the, the bid line? Maybe set this one to also false in this case. So if I compile this one, we should not see any, any bid or a ask line prices in this case so right now you can see that is now again how you can change the chart properties so then again maybe of course we need maybe we want to show only the ask line so you set this one to true in this case so only the ask line will be shown and not the the bid line which is now below the ask line so the bid line below over here below over here is now hidden in this case however why do you want to you can just like yeah feel free to do as you wish in this case so i will set it back to default which is now true in this case and then you can see the bid and ask line are lines are shown in this case respectively so right now the other the other uh, thing that you may want to to show in this uh, case is the is the is the grid in this case so it is the grid that you may want to show particularly in this uh, point so right now let's say let's say that uh, let's say that uh, okay let me go back let, let, let me sh what do i want to mean over here show show grid show grid in this case so if it is set to true the grid the grid line will be shown in this uh, case however if set to force if set to force in this uh, case then you compile the grid will not uh, be shown in this particular instance so right now the next thing that uh, you may want to show in this uh, case is the is the volume in this in this uh, instance the volume so which can be shown by pressing ctrl uh, plus plus uh, l in this uh, case so the volumes the trading volumes are uh, technically shown below over here in this uh, in this uh, particular instance so what we need to do what we need to do is uh, we can choose either to show them or not so i'll just like uh, technically again show show uh, show show volume in this uh, case then over here we need to show volumes uh, what do you want to to show in this uh, case so you can press f1 on a keyboard then you can have a look at the enumeration that is contained in the show volumes in this uh, case so uh, so so uh, we need to like uh, the the chart volume in this case you can either add you can either print uh, show in the the tick or the real volumes in this uh, case so you can maybe add in this uh, instance so you can have maybe over here maybe you can have a chart chart uh, volumes maybe you want to display the real volumes in this case that is exactly what will be done by, by because right now i'm not a uh, connected to the internet the tick the the real volumes cannot be shown in this case so what you can only what can only be shown in this case is now the tick uh, volume in this uh, case so right now you can see the tick volume is now shown well, however what if you want to hide so you can just go ahead and uh, hide this uh, volumes automatically in this case so right now the next thing that uh, you may want to like a display is a is a is a the okay is the want to show maybe the object object description in this case so the object description is maybe for the buy and the sell in this uh, particular instance respectively so what can we do over here what uh, what uh, we can do is uh, maybe let me connect to the internet in a little bit let me connect then 
then after connection we can close the open trades we can hope close the open trades in this case so let me wait until we have a tick okay there we have in this case so then i can close the open trades we can close and I close okay what happened over there <laughs> so we can basically close this one too and then close this one too so right now you can see these uh, descriptions are shown the descriptions are shown in this uh, case so yeah <laughs> what if you want to like uh, technically hide hide uh, these descriptions you can see that uh, you hide this description using the uh, the force the first uh, thing in this uh, case so right now the descriptions are hidden they are hidden in this uh, case they are not shown however if you set it to true they will be they will be like uh, uh, shown in this case so that is not the other thing that you may need to check in this uh, case and then the the other thing is maybe since we are on the show uh, thing <laughs> or a momentum in this case you may maybe you want to show the the trading the trade uh, the trade history in this uh, case so if it is set to true the trading history in this case uh, it will be shown however if it is set to false if it is set to false in this case i can compare this one and then you can see uh, It took some time there to to like uh, <laughs> you know redraw in this uh, case, but uh, that is not a problem. So right now, you can see this trading uh, history is uh, hidden, hidden or uh, not shown to the chart. However, if it is set to true in this uh, case, if it is set to true, then you can see you can see that uh, it should be it is taking long to update. You can see that uh, it is shown in this uh, case it is taking it is the trading history is now shown in this uh, case then right now from here what else can we can we like uh, show in this uh, case right now maybe i think we have exhausted most of the things L let's uh, let us uh, change the, the the background in this uh, case so maybe we can change the the color the chart uh, color color background in this case so chart color background you need to have a color so maybe you can have color color let us have white in this case then you can compile in this uh, instance so right now once the chart is uh, redrawn or uh, reinitialized the chart the background is now changed to to white so you can see that is now uh, basically how you can play around with the with the background color in this uh, case however now you can see we interfere with the far foreground in this uh, case we interfere with the with the foregro foreground color in this uh, case so you can just copy and then paste it over here in this uh, case so we need to interfere with the we need to change the foreground color so since that is now white so this should now be black so technically the foreground uh, foreground color is technically this color that is shown on the scales in this uh, instance the color that is shown on the scale so right now you can see we are able to change it back to black in this uh, particular instance so basically uh, the, the most common one i would like not to like uh, have have this as a black which is now what i like and then this by by white uh, again in this case so i can compile and then everything else will just like be updated uh, back to normal just as we want it to be just like uh, like uh, that one so yeah so right now what else do we like uh, need to do in this uh, case so what else can we update in this uh, case maybe maybe suppose you set the the grid the this uh, grid color to be to be in a blue uh, right now it is in blue in this uh, case however it is always gray so which means i had already changed it so maybe you can change the the color for for grid as well for grid as well so the grid color can as well maybe be white or maybe let's say yeah let's say white or uh, no let me have it as yellow in this case 
right now you can compile this one and then you can see that uh, once it is updated the grid should change to uh, to 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 yellow in this case as uh, you can see so yeah <laughs> the grid is now changed to to yellow in this case so yeah that is now most of the things that uh, you need to do what else can we change what else can we change we can change the the we can change the 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 volume i think from from this uh, lime color to maybe red you can change the color of the volumes as well so you can just come over here then color color for volumes i can maybe change it to maybe to maybe blue instead of so blue so compile and then it should be changed in this uh, instance so l you can see now the color for the volumes is changed in this case in case however because it is a uh, hidden you cannot see it however if you want it to be revealed you can it will be in blue color in this uh, case so the next thing that uh, you, you want or uh, you would like to change uh, the property in this uh, case is now a uh, is now these uh, these lines so maybe i can change this one let me change this one to a default of uh, want to change this one to a default of maybe color color on white in this uh, case so color on white so right now you can see changing i just changed the color for these uh, bars because i wanted to interfere with them a little bit so right now you can see that uh, if i go over here we can you can see that we can change this color color for uh, color for let let us start with the outline with the outline of the bars in this uh, case so we can change the color of the outline to maybe chart chart up chart up in this uh, case which is not technically which is not technically this uh, upper uh, the, the outline of this uh, bar in this case so we can change that color to maybe color 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 uh, color line in this case color line then you can compare this one and you can see that this this uh, outline of that color stick is now changed in this case the out the outline of that cardo stick is changed to line so the same instance can now apply the same instance can now uh, what did i do over there can now technically apply to chart uh, down in this case then again you can change uh, then again you can change the the what else can we change over here let me have it over there then what else can we change what else can we change so what else can we change we can change the trying to think i'm trying to think we can change the let me see the outcome of this one first okay i have not yet compiled the thing so so we change the outline so okay the the filling color for the bull and bear bear cadus in this case the filling color so chat up and chat down so we need to change this one to to color to color uh, need to change this one to color Mm, is it let's say is it bull color what, what should it be uh, color there is no bull uh, is it candle yeah candle candle bull in this uh, case so for the bullion candles let's say you want to fill them with color 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 yellow and then for the for the bears in this uh, case so candle bear in this case let's say we want to fill them with the let's say another color let's say aqua 
aquamarine or whichever whichever the color or maybe blue <laughs> blue is more technical so we can see that uh, we are now able to change the the colors in this case for those particular candlesticks so what what else can we say okay well, i will re reset this one to black for the bull for, i mean for the for the for the bull in this case i will have it as black and then for the bear i will have it as uh, white respectively not white but white respectively so if i compile this one this is no more more uh, dynamic in this case as uh, you can see so uh, of course you can play around with the whichever the colors that you want to have in this case for your chart in this case then from here the other thing that uh, we can uh, we can change is now the 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 of course this one we can change the bid and the ask color line in this case it is a uh, this is is this green <laughs> uh, 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 this doesn't look look much of a red okay <laughs> no no problem no problem so we can just like change change the the color for bid for the ask first of all for the ask maybe you can want the ask to maybe have a, let us let it be lime of course then for the for the bid for the bid color we can have for the bit color we can have uh, it is always gray i think so compile wow will gray and black background go yeah it is doesn't again really matter so you can see that uh, you can actually even change it to red in this uh, case so whichever that you want to do in uh, you just like uh, do as you deem fit then over here we just like uh, want to change uh, what else can we change what else can we change what else what um, else what else can we change what else let me go back so that i can think more clearly what else can we change what else what else we were able to change this one you are able to okay you can also as well as uh, interfere with the with the these uh, horizontal and vertical skills which is now the the time i mean the price and the the eh? what did i say the horizontal scale which is not the time scale and then the vertical scale which is not the price scale you can interfere with them you can either choose uh, to like show or uh, hide those uh, skills in this uh, case so maybe i can have chart uh, a chart show not scale what should it be uh, okay before even we go to scale then <laughs> as i load up what it should be maybe we want to show the trade the trade uh, the trade uh, levels in this uh, case so maybe we can just like uh, show trade levels this you know, should be you can the, the default is uh, true in this case however if you do not want to show the trade levels the trade levels in this case are not the opening prices the the the, the opening arrows in this case uh, in fact the the take profit the stop loss what i mean by this one is that uh, maybe is that uh, maybe i can just like go ahead and open a position i can go ahead and open a position like uh, did we really hide <laughs> it, it seems we hid something it seems we hid something in this uh, case we hid the on click trading thing over here so what can i do i can just like uh, show the one click trading in this case so show the one click uh, show the one click trading panel in this uh, case then set this on to true in this case so what that typically does is that uh, is that uh, you are able this uh, is it yet or not yet updated so you are able to show this one click trading panel which is now over here so 
it seems that uh, we had already eaten it so actually you can uh, like have it right now in this uh, particular instance so right now uh, yeah I can just go ahead and show you uh, how we can have the trade level. So I can just like uh, buy, place buy positions. And uh, maybe I can also let's say, let's say like uh, place uh, a limit in this uh, case. A limit in this case. A limit, a limit. So a limit. Um, limit limit order over yeah and then maybe i can drag this on okay can automatically set the stop loss and tp using these ones in that case or uh, in that format so right now you can see these uh, prices are are shown in the in the market or uh, on the chart in this uh, case however if you want to hide them if you want to hide them you can set these uh, short trade levels to force to force in this uh, case so if i compile this one then the trade levels are hidden however we have we have opened positions in this case and we have padding on us uh, those uh, trade levels they are uh, they are there but they cannot be seen uh, in the market they are completely hidden so that is not the other property that you may want to change and then you can show the one click trading maybe you can set this on to the default uh, force in this case okay, so again you can click on uh, compile and then the one click uh, trading over here panel is now gone <laughs> in this case you cannot access it maybe you do not want to use it uh, in the current chart so yeah the the it doesn't become a bother to you anymore in this uh, case so right now then you can maybe uh, uh, show maybe you can uh, let me reset this on to true show true levels to true to true and then i can show you uh, how you can set oh so it is true so i can show you how you can uh, set these thread levels you can change the color of these thread levels as well in this case since i have seen they are in blue and uh, they are usually in, uh, in another color in this uh, case so maybe uh, maybe you can set the set the the chart uh, color short color chart color last 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 line is typically the 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 last execution so maybe i can have this one and then you can see is it sure okay let us leave alone the last line we may never use it let us use let us use the the stop level chart color stop level in this case maybe no we can have them as lime in this case so they will be changed to to lime in this case as you could see the default the default color in this case for this uh, stop loss and uh, take profit in this case it was uh, automatically it was automatically uh, red in this uh, case so you can change this one to maybe even even yellow or uh, the, the one that uh, you didn't fit in this uh, case so you can see right now they are changed the color of the trade levels in this case which is now the take profit stop loss is not changed so color colorful like uh, can have let us have them as the default which is now red and then you can see uh, they are uh, set in this case so that is now another property that you can uh, play around with in this uh, case so right now uh, what else do you need to know i think what else could i have left okay i promised to to, to show you how to change the chart uh, price scale and uh, and the uh, time scale in this uh, case so i can just show you right now uh, it should be chart chart uh, chart wow that thing is not coming it's not coming it's not coming what i should do however let's say you want to like uh, maybe adjust adjust the drug levels maybe the drug also chart drug levels in this case maybe we want it to be let's say uh, true in this uh, instance so if you set the drug uh, levels by default they are set to true so i can't be able to drag these levels and they are adjusted automatically however if i set it to false 
to force in this uh, case if i compile this one you can see that uh, i cannot be able to drag even the option to drag is not availed to me so i cannot drag this this uh, stop level these uh, stop levels in this case respectively so yeah so right now just set it to true in this case so that you are able to drag the levels however you can also set uh, so right now i am able to drag the levels automatically so the next thing is uh, is uh, maybe maybe what is it what else do you need to like uh, see in this case what else technically um, we need to show to show let me see let me copy this one then paste over the argumentation over there the chart skill why is it not coming show show uh, chart what is it price yeah uh, yeah 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 there it comes there it comes the price scale in this uh, case so if you want to show the price scale set this one to true and then if you want to show not show the price scale set it to false so if i compile this one the 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 price scale over here is gone so the chart is completely yeah uh, the, the chart is completely uh out of bound you cannot read any any price in this uh, case no price is a uh, is a uh, shown in this particular instance so yeah and then well it seems like uh, maybe i can have a new order cancel so that uh, we can have so right now the only way that you can access the the prices in this case again let me open a buy order so right now wow they are at the same point no okay no problem so right now you can see we have the the sell the only the the only way that you can access the the prices is through the the opened position if there is no any open position the chart scale is now the price scale is now gone and you can do the same actually for the you can do the same actually for these uh, for the so i can just copy and then paste it for the other scale which is now which is now the time time scale is it not time scale uh what is it then is it date yeah this date scale in this case so if i compare this one no date scale there is actively no no scale and then yeah technically there is no any <laughs> the chart is now completely empty as uh, you can see over here so that is now the other method that uh, you can use to like uh, chart uh, display this uh, chart properties in this case respectively yeah like uh, that one so the the what else what else what else i think we have exhausted everything i think we have exhausted everything that i, I can see okay this looks weird so let me set this one uh, back to true in this case then true so that uh, let me see what else are we missing what else haven't we shown what else let me try to drag this on it is draggable so so yeah it is working fine what else can i show you what else can i show you I can okay the 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 docking method the docking method can also be shown in this case you can either choose to max uh, okay let me paste this one over yeah the docking method chart uh, is 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 maximized is uh, minimized is uh, docked however for you to use the maximized and minimized in this uh, case you need to uh, it has to be docked in this case so if let us see if it is docked so chart is docked is uh, docked in this case maybe you can have it as false if you set it as false it will not be docked it will not be uh, attached to the to the price so the only way i can show you this one is having uh, control okay it is i mean you can move it along <laughs> you can move it uh, outside 
outside the you can move it outside outside these uh, you can drag it or uh, it is not attached to the to the chart in this uh, case uh, it is not attached to these uh, tabs over here which means it is docked you can move it uh, outside the terminal in this case that is exactly what i wanted to to mean so you can move it outside outside the the terminal in this case as uh, you can see uh, respectively so yeah so you can maybe have it uh, you may want to have it as maybe is docked then is okay is uh, you can have this at say force as i mean true which means it will be docked so you cannot be able to drag it in this uh, case so you can see you can just like play play around to to force in this case and then again it is not uh, docked in this case so it is in this uh, kind of a format so yeah so what else do you need to know about uh, i think we have exhausted everything so if it is set to is docked then you can set it it's a it's a maximize it's a minimal or a, yeah maximize or minimal price in this case so i can just copy this one and then i can have uh, this one is is a maximized is equals to maybe true it is not docked but you need it to be maximized so um, is that the say the, the case is maximized then let me compile this one again then it should be like a maximized in this case it should be like that one maximized in this case so right now uh, yeah te technically that is now uh, let, let me just get rid of this one then you can have this uh, as a uh, true in this case as true in that format so i can compile right now and you can see that uh, uh, everything now is uh, working fine so which means that uh, that is now basically how how you can how you can uh, or you can uh, play around with any any chart property in this case so i can just like uh, let me open the navigation in this case and then let's say let, let, let me now change the chart to maybe properties and then let me change the chart to to maybe color on white in this case again then press on okay so right now you have that kind of a chart and then you want to like technically change it at a go and then you are you are a good to go so change chart properties a best you can just drag and drop it in this uh, chart then you can see we just like change the chart properties and then maybe you can then take remove the expert advice and then you are good to go on your trading activities in this case so yeah that is now everything that uh, you need to know uh, on this uh, thing in this over yeah so just go ahead and cancel uh, everything i mean the initialize the threads in this case so right now that is now everything uh, that you need to to change all the chart properties of uh, any particular chart as a udm fit in this case and then at the end always remember to withdraw to redraw the chart in this case uh, yeah in this case uh, at this instance so that is now everything that uh, you needed to know i hope that uh, this video was uh, helpful to you and uh, if it was just like uh, consider giving us a, a thumbs up and then you can consider to like uh, comment subscribe and share the video so the knowledge is uh, spread to to other people out there in this uh, case so yeah that is now everything that uh, you needed to know and uh, technically <laughs> i have exhausted everything and uh, yeah so i think yeah have a have a nice trading activity until we see each other on the next uh, lesson so bye bye